Requiem? Requiem, yeah. All right. American Requiem. Travis Scott. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's pretty much the next song. Um, let's talk about the last one. Yeah. She kind of kind of got to talk in there, huh? No, she was in a bag because when she talk about like... <sighs> first off, y'all not finna take my... my <laughs> y'all not finna take my history from me. My fucking... Hold on, let me turn it. Let me turn it. And I'm super glad that we spoke on it. First thing first. Y'all not finna take my history. Y'all not finna change my fucking story. <laughs> Just to play into your narrative because you mad about how I feel. Oh, she can't do country music. First off, yes, the fuck I can't. I but yeah, that's I, I mean, I mean, obviously this is fire. Like, it's it's yeah. It, this song has aura. You know, this song has a lot of aura. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of fucking anger in this song too, and you can uh, feel pretty it. much, yeah. There's a lot of um, power, a lot of fucking um, bass, all the different uh, doubles and like right. background vocals that like make it come from more of a, a soulful, <laughs> spiritual place right. than her just being on a country song. She got Dolly Parton on this motherfucker. She, she got, got Shabuzi. Shabuzi on this motherfucker. Shout, shout, out shout out Shabuzi, man. We did we did a, a video for him once. All right, we got uh, Blackbird. I'll turn me up, turn this back on. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arise You were only waiting for this moment to arise Blackbird 
Singing in the dead of night. Night, night. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see. Learn to see all, all your life. life. Let fly. fly into the light of a dark land. Another good, another good song. I like her um, approach, I guess, for lack of a better word, mm. in getting and doing these. Paul McCartney, a member of the Beatles and the writer of the original song, once stated about the song's lyrics: "This was really a song from me to a black woman experiencing these problems in the wait in the states." Let me encourage you to keep trying, to keep your faith. There is hope. Further proving Beyonce made this album to bring a wider freedom to black people and especially black women to be able to soar within the country industry again. Shout out to Paul McCartney, man. <laughs> standing front lines. My man standing front lines. So these are all, I guess, people who had vocals on these songs. Yeah, because why aren't they, Why would she not put the lyrics on, on the, uh, not the lyrics, the tags at the like? Why wouldn't she? Well, because Paul McCartney wrote the song. Oh, so Paul McCartney wrote this motherfucker. That's what it just said here. I thought she said Paul McCartney, a member of the Beatles and the writer of the original song. Oh, okay, that's how you yeah. said. Once stated about the song's lyrics. Shout out to Paul. Oh, so yeah, that so yeah, okay, that's fucking fire. Yeah. So we, I we, we probably should have read that before then, because I would have heard the song different. She, it's a cover. It's, yep. So, yep. Yeah, it's a cover. It's very tough. So she pretty much just took that and then revitalized it to say he wrote this song for specifically black women. I'm going to repurpose this song on an album where I'm widening the freedom for black people. Specifically, black women to make country music and be prominent in the in the space, or to like yeah, bring bring her yeah to bring Paul McCartney's vision to life by basically. putting his song on a stage again, basically with the vision that he had for the song, like for right. the message, and with a bunch of with a yeah exactly black women. I love that, bro, because that's purpose. That's the definition of purposeful music. This will impact generations down the line. Uh, pertaining to country music and the people in the space. Um, so do you want to do 16 carriages? No, we can do it. Okay. Let's let it play just for the sake of the end. Yeah. It's beautiful also, too, so. 16 carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed On the back of the bus in a bunk with the band Going so hard, gotta choose myself Underpaid and overwhelmed I might cook clean but still won't fall Still working all my life, you know Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows Sixteen carriages driving away While I watch them ride with my fears away Into the summer sunset on a holy night On a long back road, all the tears I find it's been 38 summers and I'm not in my bed On the back of the bus and I'm up with the band Going so hard, now I miss my kids Overworked and overwhelmed I might cook clean but still won't fall Still working on my life, you know Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows 16 carriages 15, the innocence was gone astray Had to take it home at an early age I saw mama crying, I saw daddy lying Had to Sacrifice and leave my fears behind For legacy If it's the last thing I do You'll remember me Cause we got something to prove In your memory On a highway to truth Still see our faces When you close your eyes This is, this is very tough That sounds a lot better and, and it was good when we first heard it But once you kind of like 
understand it in in the full in its totality because the, the first yeah the first song is like a opener like this is why i'm making this type type thing and then the second one kind of ties in like to um like the whole the whole you know beatles mm -hmm. shouting it out it's like pushing her point more to to it's like two preludes almost right right and then the second one is telling her whole story from from that same perspective like i fought hard to do all of this stuff that that i just said y'all was taking like the first one's like almost like a summary right the second one is like here's an opener with the author basically explaining my story here's my story and then as it I pertains to see. the point i'm proving yeah right exactly fire fire yeah oh That's man very tough mom can i be here the water bye, bye please <laughs> There I was, tangled up in Marigold We were listening to the Reverend Children singing sing, 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 yeah. sing. Humming low as the garden river flows While the August light becomes a golden evening yeah. And I will lead you down that road if you lose your way Wanna be a protector mm -hmm. Even though I know someday you're gonna shine on your own I will be your projector mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An apricot picked right off a given tree I gave water to the soil and now it feeds me If you lose your way uh, Wanna be a protector mm -hmm. Even though I know someday You're gonna shine on your own I will be a projector I first saw your face in your father's gaze There's a long line of hands carrying your name you up so you will be raised even though i know someday you're gonna shine on your own i will be a projector man that was yeah that was very sweet there let me ask you something uh, okay you talking to me here everybody do you want good music huh mm -hmm. you start here here you go yeah start here this is good music, one of one. As soon as I got the concept, I thought of my Dukes. You know, that's how strong it is. You think of my Dukes, I think about her and Aaron off the flap. That's when you got a real strong laid out con concept here. Mm -hmm. Beautifully sung. Yeah. Um, Born to be a protector. Yeah. For sure. That light line projector is... <laughs> You're going to have a light on your own, but I'll be a projector. Talk about it. Yeah. This is one of the songs that kind of feel like a hug. Yeah, man. That is just a very sweet song. A very here. Um, nurturing hug, bro. Yeah. That's the person. This is the type of song for somebody who can be a mother to people they ain't birthed. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. This is this is nice. Even though I know someday you're gonna shine on your own, mm -hmm. I will be your projector. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That's all, that's and one. I feel like in one hand it's saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the position by how I raise you, by the things I teach you, by the you know mindsets and all these things. I'm gonna put you in a position to shine. So in one hand is that, and then the other hand is like uplifting. Yeah. Uplifting her, you know, to 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 shine and to be the best her right. that she can. Come on now. Come on now. This Come is on. real now. Tough. We got we got one of them, huh? Uh huh? I ain't said that in a minute. How many times have you let yourself get you down, let yourself get you down, my dear? So many roses, but none to be picked without thorns, so be fond of your flowers, dear. La, 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 la.
Boy, if that was all her, all them voices, that's crazy. I think it was, brother. LeBron passes to LeBron. <laughs> right, the layered. Three blocked by LeBron. <laughs> that boy is layered. Off the glass to LeBron from right. LeBron. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. That's what it was given. Off the glass from LeBron to LeBron is insane here. Right, she just, but, but you know, she in there cooking and it's just her. Yeah, And man. a lot of different voices of hers, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Vocal layers goes nuts, yeah. This is about her man, huh? Or no? Am I tripping? Her I son. Talking about, yeah, her son or her daughter because she was saying, like, it's just like on some, like, uh, so many roses, but none to be picked without thorns, so be fond of your flaws. It's just like. Kind of teaching, yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of teaching them to love them. I feel like that's a good message to teach somebody. Yeah, she's on timing here. <laughs> she's really like, no, I have kids. Huh, I am a mother. I thought it was for a daughter, though. But, yeah, okay. I can see how it be both. I'm not in tune, in tune with, like, you know, these people's... Uh, Is her son's name, sir? Right, exactly what I was about to get into. I'm not really too... I, I'm not in tune with, like, these people's personal lives, so I don't know. Sir is her son. Rumi. Rumi. Okay. Because, yeah. I don't know why I thought it was a... She had a different name here. Well, yeah, you talking about no? Uh, wait, no, not no. blue. Blue, yeah, blue. Blue's the one that was dancing, right, on the stage with her. Blue is the oldest. Oh, right. she has three kids. When did she get all these kids? You know my name. No need to know yours. Now for this next tune, I want y'all to sit back, inhale, and go to that good place your mind likes to wander off to. And if you don't want to go, go find yourself a jukebox. Thank you. This ain't Texas. Ain't no holdem. So lay our cards down, 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 down. So pocket Lexus and throw your keys up. Bitch, come take it to the floor now. Woo! Huh. There's, a There's a tornado in my city. Get the basement. That shit ain't pretty. Rugged whiskey. Rugged whiskey. We surviving. A break up kisses. Sweet redemption. Passing time, yeah. And I'll be now. damned if I cannot dance with you. Come pour some liquor on me, honey, too. It's a real live boogie and a real live hold down. Don't be a bitch, come take it to the floor now. heard this before i'm looking at the second verse a little differently here now and i don't think we really broke that down here the first time Definitely so i get this off real quick uh the second verse right here she said there's a heat wave coming at us mm -hmm. um because before it was there's a tornado in my city yeah too hot to think straight too cold to panic all the problems just feel dramatic now we're running to the first right mm -hmm. the first bar that we find to me this little four these four lines back to back are definitely given, you know, they say this about the world, 
all these things they tell us, you know, at any time, all these things could happen. Boom, boom, boom. They're telling us by the year, uh, blah, 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 right? You know, that the world's going to end. It's always, you know, like fear mongering when it comes to right. stuff like that. And she's saying, look, you know, we just want to have a good time here. And you know what? I felt that because it feel, you feel it in the mood as well. Yeah. So I can appreciate something like that. So, you know, because at first, when we first heard it, it was like, we were just kind of jarred by the style that she was going with, you know, not having the context of why she's doing these different styles. Yeah. And so now I'm hearing this one again, because I, I listen to 16 Carriages, like, a lot already. But Texas Hold'em, I haven't revisited. It's yeah, like, no, she has some, like, pretty existential lyrics in here matched with a bigger purpose to the song in general. Right, because you dancing with all this BS going on. This ain't, Right. There's this a tornado ain't... in my city. Hit the basement. That shit ain't pretty. Yeah, like that. It sounds great. That is right. not fun. Rugged, rugged whiskey because we surviving. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like basically having fun through all, all the tough. All of the BS yeah. is going on, man. You th- yeah. So sweet. I give you kisses in the backseat. I whisper secrets in the backbeat. You make me cry. You make me happy. Happy. Dolly up next year. Um, <laughs> well, uh, this, is, this is one of them songs, sir. She was talking about bodyguard. I don't know really what she was saying, bro. You gotta understand here. Those are one of one Beyonce vocals. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like there's anybody that can sing like that. Right. That's yeah. heavenly mm-hmm. vocals. The production, sir. Who is in that room? Like, right. You that know what I'm saying? Crazy. Like, let's get the names for the people in that room yeah. because. Wow, cause it's it's fucking fire. Cause you got like the you know the country tone to it, but then you have somebody in that motherfucker shredding a electric guitar. Yeah, in no the reason. back, right? And it's it's like very faint too, but it starts to like poke out at the end there. Man, that shit real bar music for real. There was this little sequence she had in this song where she was like, "I don't like the way she's staring at you," mm-hmm. and they doing ten dollars for double here. I'm turned up right now. Somebody hold me back. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That that's kind of where I was like, I'll be a bodyguard as in mm. these girls is on you and I'm finna get them off you. You know what Type. I'm saying? Don't stop before Jolene. Oh, let it play. Hey, hey Miss Honeybee. It's Dolly P. You know that hussy with the good hair you sing about? Reminded me of someone I knew back when. Except she has flaming locks of Auburn hair. Bless her heart. <laughs> Just a hair of a different color. Hold on, I got it. They said don't stop. I know, I got to change. Don't stop. You got a Dolly Parton shirt. They just shit on me. <laughs> they just shit it on me. We're going to restart it, yeah. Hey, Miss Honey Lee, it's Dolly B. You know that hussy with the good 
heard you singing out <laughs> reminded me of someone I knew back when. Except she has flaming locks of auburn hair. Bless your heart. <laughs> just a hair of a different color, but it hurts just the same. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm warning you, don't come for my Be, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have thought that she's been doing country music her her whole career. Yeah. You would have thought that this is her first what her first rodeo, if if I may. Okay, so this is obviously a concept from Dolly Parton. Mm -hmm. Uh I have been informed on this a little bit here. You've you've heard the original Jolene? I I have heard a part of the original well, yeah, I've heard the original Jolene. Right. Like let's yeah. be real here. Yeah, I've heard it. Maybe not like, you know, clung to it. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, the original Jolene, she she like begging, please don't take my man. She like Jolene, I'll beat your ass. Basically, Beyonce like, I, you know what I'm saying? I get active about this. <laughs> I think she did a really good rendition though. This is yeah. yeah, this is she. I mean, like I said, you would have thought she was doing country music her her whole career, and she very you know very much may have been, but um, yeah, she sounds sharp and and like. Like she's at home You know what I'm saying And Like She's at home She is You know what I'm saying That's why she's doing this Like yeah. let's really talk about it here she very so. much well Could have grew up on this same song You know what I'm saying Right I love this This take And then she brought Like the backup vocals Yeah I love that Yeah like You're talking about like Which parts I crossed end. the Right I crossed yeah. those valleys Highs and lows And everything between Yeah It felt like I was It took you there I was on horseback I can easily understand why you're attracted to my man, but you don't want this smoke, so shoot your shot with somebody else. <laughs> you don't want this smoke, it's crazy. Saying a country song, bro. I know, that's what I'm And I'm yeah, fucking man. with it, though. Because she's using black vernacular in a country song. Your body laid out on these filthy floors. Your blood stains on my custom couture. Bathroom attendant let me right in. She was a big fan. Try to stay cool, but your arrogance disturbed my solitude. Now I ripped your dress and you're all black and blue. Look what you made me do. They keep saying that ain't nothing like my father, but I'm the furthest thing from quiet boys and altars. If you cross me, I'm just like my father. I am colder than Titanic water Help me, Lord, from these fantasies in my head They ain't never 
never been safe once. I don't fellowship with these fake ones. So let's travel to white chapels and sing hymns, hold rosaries, and sing in stained glass symphonies. Cleanse me, Holy Trinity, from this marijuana smoke smell in my hair. How long can he hold his breath before he is to change my life that is crazy she went everywhere with that one she went everywhere with that one and it and then the story kind of transitioned and then went its own fucking way that's crazy that's crazy it's like whenever you watch like a uh like a like a play and then like or even a movie where like a person's walking and as they're walking, the background changes behind them. I feel like that's what that was in transition from the last song. Oh, okay. Right. Because she, she's like, because she's talking about Jolene. Then she's like, I just beat this woman ass. Okay. So that's okay. So cool. I'm there at least. Well, at one point, I thought she smoked her. She that's did her big crazy. one. Crazy. And then like hit that high note. Yeah. The, the opera. That's an opera note, boy. <laughs> Genres are a funny little concept, aren't they? Yes, they are. That Beyonce Virgo shit. In theory, they have a simple definition that's easy to understand. But in practice, well, some may feel confined. I swear for God is by this Jesus. No gang, but I got shooters and I bang bang. At the snap of my fingers, I'm Thanos. And I'm still on your head, cornrows. They call me the captain, the catwalk assassin. When they know what's slapping, then here come the yapping. All of this snitching and all of this bitching. Just a fishing expedition, dummy mission in the kitchen. Cooking up some chickens, extra leg, but I ain't even trying to kick it. Country, country, petty, petty, petty. All the same to me, plain Jane spaghetti. I ain't in no gang, but I got shooters and I bang bang. Hey, out to the moon, out to the moon. I lost women, they gon' show. Keep the car, break the rules. We gon' ride for every member that we know. Someone here brought fire, ain't no telling who. Play it cool, know the law man watching me every time I move. Bounty on my head, can't go away, stay on my shoes. No matter what the charge is, ease, we ain't gonna tell the truth. Hold on, boy. She came with the fuck the genre. It's, fuck the genres, bro. You know what I'm saying? Energy. That was tough. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care what you expected from that. That was fucking fire. Energy. That was yeah, bro. She was spitting. Yeah, like, she was spitting. She was cadence was crazy. Production was crazy, like in yeah. the middle of a country album. Yeah, man. Showing y'all, like, showing people, you know, stop genreing people. Like, that's, we, you know, we work in the music, we're in the music game here. That is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to music, is when people get boxed in by genre. Yeah. Cause I seen somebody say that, like, rappers is lucky she chose to sing. That was very tough. Yeah. She yeah, this is this shows a lot of versatility. And I like the songs, I mean the album so far as a um as a whole. Yeah. 
I'm interested so far to see what wins the album of the year this year. But I guess we'll, you know, we'll see. Boy, this huh? is a heater. This is a heater, man. This is, this is a tough contender so far. She's spitting, this boy. Very, this is very crazy. She had that, you know what I'm saying? She just had that. Mm. Seems like she's sticking her neck out for somebody. Right. That's uh, all I'm getting. And still, they're kind of like, it's not enough. Uh, kind of, you know? Yeah, I just feel like it's like she, this person cries and then, and like, you know, or makes a big deal out of something and then she has to change, do like, change her way in a way that really wouldn't even be possible or, or you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. change something major about herself or do something major like you know what i'm saying like she's exaggerating it's like to say you say move a mountain and i'll throw them on, on my boots right. like because you're making a big deal out of this because you're crying i have to now move a fucking mountain right yeah, it's treated as and serious. i have to man up or you know big up myself and fucking handle this handle this major shit because you're crying about it yeah you say stop the uh river from running i'll build a dam or two you yeah. say change the religion so now i'm spending sundays with you like, right, right right you know what i'm saying like, like all going the, out of her way for yeah, sure from somebody else's manipulation because they're crying i think so yeah yeah like you know what i'm saying like you and those alligator tears how does it feel to complain be a, a like, lot too probably but i love you to the point where like okay like i want you to be comfortable i want you to be happy so right. what do i have to do and i have to keep doing these fucking impossible things I will say I've never felt the need to go into a bar here, uh, <laughs> in a like the you know this strongly in a minute. I'm going all out just for fun. I am the man, I know it, and everywhere I go they know my name. So I laugh and I lie and the coyotes cry and the time moves quickly and so do I, so do I, so I. Say my goodbye Cause time heals everything I don't need anything Hallelujah I pray to her Here's to hoping I'll fall fast asleep tonight
like she's probably maybe like there's a good probability she's hit every possible note ever. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. At every yeah. Like exaggeration, but you know. She she has so many pockets just up and down. This one it's just so much to sit with with these songs. Uh lyrically and just the the energy of them I feel like it's like a lot of these songs feel healing. Mm-hmm. And I think I used the the phrase like a hug this song felt like a hug but a lot of these just kind of feel like that i mean she ke- kind of keeps it open ended not to be so specific and i think that's so that it can relate to more people but yeah. um it's like kind of like you know being being s- like sad and then kind of playing on the just for fun to say like you know just so i can kind of get out of this headspace um like the bunch of healing things that mm-hmm. she's you know, just like a healing perspective of, oh, excuse me, that, you know, she's, I'm going down south just for fun. Like, yeah. I'm just going to escape being where, in a place that I was upset with. But it seems like somebody might have passed away or something Maybe. of that nature. And it's like, and then you pray to that person or right. you pray, you know, or if you, you know, think it's your faith that God is a woman. But yeah, that's kind of what I get to it. Yeah. No jump in the gun, but we're both still young. One day we won't be. Didn't know what I want till I saw your face. Say goodbye to the old me. Came out and knew it, didn't give no warning. Pedal so heavy like the two most wanted, and I don't know what you're doing tonight, but I. I'll be a shotgun right up till the day I die Smoke out the window flying down the 405 and I'll be a backseat baby driving you crazy anytime you like mm. Making waves in the wind with my empty hand My other hand on you been a while since I haven't tried to pull away But it's time for something new Came out of nowhere, didn't give no warning Pedal so heavy like the two most wanted And I don't know what you're doing tonight But I, I'll be a shotgun rider Till the day I die Smoke out the window flying down the 405 Yeah, I'll be a backseat, baby Driving you crazy anytime you like We're getting high till we don't realize Time is passing by Yeah, I'll be a backseat, baby I'm driving you crazy anytime you like Oh, I'll be your shotgun Yeah, it says Beyonce and Miley Cyrus, and that is very much she earned that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is definitely they both sang the whole song almost with like a couple lines to themselves, and then sometimes Miley's voice would be the stronger one, and then sometimes Beyonce's would be the stronger one, and then sometimes it would just blend. This is basically this is kind of like a ride or die song here. Mm-hmm. I think both of them have like very strong and unique like. I think Miley a little bit more has a u- more unique voice and like because the the raspiness and stuff like that. But Beyonce, like technically, like technicality wise, she's the one that's going up for them notes. Like she's going up and coming out with that presence. Mm-hmm. And I feel like yeah, they did a good job. Even with, like you know, it's like they could have easily washed each other out here, but it it blended in such a, a cohesive way. That you just like levitate the whole song, like you just floating. Yeah, I was thinking it's like a, uh, like definitely like a Texas wedding song for sure. Right. He's Call here now. Pretty little thing.
you play too much. I'm gonna be super shot. I'm looking super hot. I got the perfect pose. I'm a fucking animal. I'm a fucking cinephone. Said, look, I love to go. Too tough, no prima donna. I possess too much persona. He said, where you get that from? You need to meet my mama. She be a church all day. Come be my nick at night. No. We can run it back. Send this to your man. He'd appreciate this one here. Or play it around him or something here. I don't know. Not in the not in a corny way, but do something. I love this. This might be one of my favorite uh features on the album. Definitely my favorite feature so far, I think. That motherfucker. Post it's so versatile, bro. Nobody might have said this to you recently, man. I'm proud of you. Yeah, man. That hey. motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. He's got like a a diamond song. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe nobody's really, you know, showing you love here, buddy. Yeah. Hey. Uh, we love you over here, man. That shit's tough, man. That's that great. Shit was out. That shit was out of there. Hey, that's great. He hit some good notes. He closed out with a high note. <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, I just leave. Whether they say I didn't do good or not, I'm gonna leave on a high note. Right. He turned. He turned up at the end too. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah. And then on the end of his verse. No, and literally. I don't know. It was probably like right after post verse. I think so. She did like this unnecessary ass run. Yeah. yeah. And it's you like, was like, Shh. what's going on with you? That was just a solid, very solid song there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, her, her singing is in cursive for sure. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, distracted here. Sorry. Hey, I was on a prize here. Look. This is your favorite song so far or your favorite feature? Favorite feature. I don't know. Favorite song is probably yeah. still um, Daughter. Probably still. Okay. Probably still. But, I mean, as far as vibe song and feature, that one, definitely. Okay. If I was just to spin it, you know what I'm saying? Harlem Globetrotter. I'm spinning that motherfucker all day. Yeah. 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 This album is just, man. It's a great album. Because I was about to say, oh, I'd spin boom, boom, boom. Man. There are so many on here. But the feel good songs, she's she's serving them. My mind has been oh, it's it's, it's Spanish. Oh. Right on down. Ooh, right now. Oh, the ones have been telling me that they won't be around. Ooh, oh, that I hope that you know that once I love you I wish that I know you let me wonder I hope that God knows that I'm in need of help right now Right about now That ooh, sound like a My show off My soul is here. reminding me that we're forever Close. 
closer Realize what you don't know What you got until it's gone Right about now It's like a whole choir. Her layers. Mm-hmm. She sounds like a whole choir. Insane. Yeah. No, for real. Insane. I mean, ain't that where she got it from? She started in the choir, didn't she? Also, do you know that Miley Cyrus' real name ain't even Miley? It's Destiny. Um. Oh, I hope that you know once it's over that you love. So hold me closer. Hannah Montana was a cover for Miley. Miley was a cover for Destiny. If you know, you know. Are you trolling me? Or is my life a lie? (laughs) Your life is a lie. So, now you know. Nothing's real, bro. (laughs) I'm not ready to rank, but this feels like a top five vocal delivery from the album. We snapping. Pretty place. Tom's place. We want to welcome you to the Beyonce Cowboy Carter Act 2. And a rodeo chilling circuit. We're going to make it do what it do. Put them hands together. We clapping. We drumming. songs here she sang with so much power 
in this song, like in her voice, and while it is a fun song, she was also speaking and standing on business yet again, as she has been this whole album here and there. My family lived and died in America. Good old USA. Whole lot of red and that white and blue. History can't be erased. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fucking fire, man. I've never seen somebody put it that way. That's a tough way to put it. Lived and died in this motherfucker. This, yeah. A whole, whole lot, lot of bloodshed. A lot of bloodshed. And history can't be erased. But they actually have tried to. They do. Uh, You know, how, whatever the opposite of Unshout out is to Texas. I think they were taking out the Martin Luther King speech and a bunch of other uh, things yeah. that you're not supposed to touch. Yeah. But um, yeah. <laughs> right. Let's think um, about that. That's why I love that J. Cole bar. Uh, one thing about the man that's controlling the pen that writes history, they always seem to white out their sins. Mm, yeah, for sure. And I feel like that kind of wraps up, like that. <clears throat> that that little structure, that yeah. bar right there. Yeah. Uh, Gina says Beyonce's mother Tina Knowles uh, Maiden last name Was originally Beyonce Mm -hmm. I guess is how you would say that But due to an error By hospital staff They spelled it Beyonce Tina later named Her eldest daughter And uh, After her botched Maiden last name Beyonce asked her mother Why didn't she argue And make them correct it Um, With her mother responding I did one time The first time And was told Be happy That you're getting A birth certificate because at one time black people didn't get birth certificates. There's so much there's so there there's so much there's so many layers here uh to this album. And it just sounds good. And that's I feel like how you get the best messages across is be accessible because you know, they she talking about bouncing ass in this song. And people in the chat talk about throwing ass, all right, boom. But it's really like layered with, you know? Yeah. Um, really meaningful and thoughtful message. So, here, dance to this while I, while I tell these people the truth. Right, <laughs> and, that's, <laughs> and that's that's how you get somewhere. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's Jordan Peele is in a is a music situation. I think so. Yeah, like you I know agree. what I'm saying. Like we jerking and we twerking. Y'all don't want to hear me. You just wanted to dance, Andre three thousand. Yeah, but go back and see what he was talking about. I feel like, and then she. Okay, so like I love that quote though. What? What did he say? Uh, y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all just want to dance. Andre 3000. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah, that was, that was a great interpolation. She could be, you know, this is America Childish Gambino in it by putting that in there. Because it's like, you know, it's just known that, like, black people would make a sound but never have access to the radio. Somebody would come hear that song that has access to the radio and then go put their sound on the radio. So I feel like, you know, she also, she could be just interpolating it and showing love to that. But right. she also could just be like, we was initially making this music to um, explain ourselves and tell yes. our story. And you're just stealing our sound and then and then just putting it on the radio. Now we can't even tell our story. So now she's just making a song where she's, it's very much, you know, twerking and, and shit. But at the beginning, she's talking about how niggas died. Yes. So, you know. I love that everything bigger in Texas line found its way on this album. <laughs> love that. Yeah. Bounce on that shit, dang. Bounce on that shit, dang. I can already tell Bounce Ray Hill. Bounce on that shit, dang. Bounce on that shit, no hands. Bounce on that shit, dang. Bounce on that shit, dang. Bounce on that shit, dang. Bounce on that shit, no hands. Running through the river. Running through the river with you. Gun. Yes, he shot me down. I died, and someone brought me back to life, but never to my senses. Bounce on the shit, dang. Bounce on the shit, no. Wrap me around your little finger, wrap me around your wedding ring. Your words dictate the shape my body makes, and that's the scary thing. Bounce on the shit, dang. Bounce on the shit, dang. Bounce on the shit, dang. Bounce on the shit, no.
no one ever Once, that was basically one song The one before this And this one Yeah So this one is like Turning up You know Starting to like Loosen you up And then the second one Comes in And she's basically Kind of She's kind of like Asking for forgiveness And two hands to heaven uh-huh. At this At the beginning of it And then it The beat kind of Breaks down into a More of like a love song Confessing her love Explaining her love Yeah With a real Yeah So like this one Yeah She gets her heart broken mm-hmm. She turns into a person like on the second half she turns into a person that's like i'm not playing with the bullshit of men now no more like yeah. she's she's playing with men at this point where she said um he cried the day he realized that lies were hidden in my kisses like you know yeah. now she's turning into the player type shit and then go back player to, plays the player here right uh, and then yeah going from toxic love to real love very much real love you, like what yeah. she's saying at the end of this because it's like she prayed for forgiveness to like fix it after she did get that like after she prayed for forgiveness she ends up like falling in love for real absolutely i think this may be the second or third time she's kind of extended a story in this album over the course of a couple tracks Mm -hmm. uh which is interesting um yeah yeah i love that bro i love that whole thing right there cowboy carter time to strike a match and light up this juke joint one 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 by one you hang them high, your hands are steady in your sleep at night. How did you turn your heart to stone? I don't want them back, but I can't let go. Yeah, Dolly, hold on. He ain't got that. Oh, she got that water. Hang man got that water. Don't act like you don't know. Giddy up, giddy up. Hey. Don't pay me in gold Giddy up, giddy up Back outside, I'm on the road Giddy up, giddy up It's a tyrant Every time I ride it Every time I ride it Make it look so good Try to justify it Boy, I know they're looking for me How we gonna hide it? Riding like hydraulics I am such a tyrant Every time I ride it Every time I ride it I rate it a 9.5 If I had to Like out of 10 Talk about the whole album? No this song oh, We're going song for, by song ratings here? No I'm just saying like For what this is like Yeah yeah for sure For, for what sure. it is like It's a girl girl song yeah If a If a If it come on I'm not turning it off No But I'm not I'm not putting it on I'll put it on a playlist though For sure though I don't feel nah. like it's catered towards us here is it? But you can still appreciate the greatness that it is Like you said 9.5 I I'm, fuck with the I'm bass not, I'm man. not disagreeing here yeah yeah, D.A. got that. Hold on now. He got that. Go. <laughs> I know, when I heard that, I was like, hold on. And what is Miss Dolly what doing? What is Miss Parton doing on this one? Time is on secrets. So tell me how you been. Don't catch the boobs. Shake. Shake. You can hear when I still. 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 All the Chevy and painted it red. Money long, it can't fit in the bed It don't matter what nobody says Cut you boy to the day that I'm dead You won't smoke, I'm the Marlboro man yeah. Cut it out for it, get out of hand yeah. mm-hmm. This ain't Calabas We don't need highways, we can take back road Never been riding, baby Step in that stirrup, hop on my saddle huh? Snake on my feet, they rattle In the bag, only thing getting last And I'm still going up like a ladder 
Yeah. And I'm still in the field like cat. Mm. Mm. Get on the road. Let it make it out for the flow. Just say what you need from the start. I'm coming home. Feel a win on my skin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Snakes on the jam. They hiss and don't listen to them. They bite every once and again, but they get stumped on when we booking, booking, booking. Whoa. Hey. They yanking your chain. Promising things that they can't. You the man at the bank. Is you is or you ain't. Hit the runway, I'm late. Pop pops got pictures of tape. It's in my DNA. Look at my mama, it's the same things that I know will offend Where that shit that I know started trend Say that boo got the out for the spin Ain't no time to fill a little on my skin I don't know why I knew for real Whoa, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it Whoa, fuck it, fuck it Like a mechanical bull That shit is amazing I'm just trying to figure out how many genres can we get a how many can we get a genre checked here? The way that she manages to keep all these other genres kind of with country as a center fo like you know center focus. This shit is very tough. I mean, she's because it's not like she's not just doing genres. She's sub genreing every genre yeah. that she's done. So it's like very tough, very tough in that because she didn't just do rap. She did like. New York rap. Then she did like uh Jersey. Yeah. Then she um I have to go back, but I'm pretty sure she did like some Atlanta shit. Yeah. And then Shabuzi went stupid. Shabuzi on here. went crazy. What the fuck? He was your rapper. He had country bars on here. He said, You wanna smoke on the Marlboro man? <laughs> <laughs> fuck is you <laughs> the fuck is you saying? You can tell she's having fun with it too, exactly. She she's having a lot of fun with switching it up and Layering the styles and the vocals because there was one part in there where we're getting groovy, it was kind of like the Jersey beat. Mm -hmm. And I hear our opera ad live. <laughs> Hello, mercy on me, baby. Have mercy on me, mercy, mercy. Hurting badly, I can see you hurting badly. Yeah, I can see you hurt and see you hurt 
That might have been one of the most impactful albums that we've reacted to, if not the most impactful album. <sighs> that shit was just tough. I mean, it made me a fan of like other artists that I don't listen to. I mean, there's no misses here. This is just, it stands for something. There's variety. Mm-hmm. The purpose, like I said, is just insane. There's feel good, lovey dovey. Then there's like gritty, kind of 808 heavy tracks, paying homage to the genre that she's reclaiming. Right, bringing artists in for that. Newer be- artists, black country artists, yeah, older artists. Yeah, man. This is just. I mean, there's. I mean, what else do you want us to say here? This is just. This is a. This is an instant classic. There's so many songs to take away from here. Even if you're a casual listener to the artist, which is what you want to see out of these lengthy projects here. Give me a, a top five here. We always do this. Give me a top five here. Can I? I'll start. Yeah. I'll start it off. Uh, bodyguards in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, protectors in there. Sixteen carriages is in there. Levi jeans is in there. And then I feel like it's a it's a t- three way tie between two hands to heaven, Yaya, and spaghetti, Blackbird, um, daughter for sure, spaghetti for sure. I'm running out of space already. This is crazy. Yeah, you got two more here. Um, hands to heaven for sure. Yeah, two hands to heaven. Um, and then. Most Wanted is tough too, boy. I'm already Just for Fun is tough too, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, It's tough. Everybody did good. You put Post Verse in there? Levi Jeans in there? I wanted to. That's what I was saying. I wanted to. I was trying to make sure there ain't nothing I'm missing. Jolene was very tough. I like her rendition of Jolene too. I think so, yeah. And I think I like that more than than that. So I'll go Jolene last. All right. That's a tough. That's tough. American Requiem was very tough too. Yeah. So I don't know. I really don't. Nah, thank somebody. y'all for this, bro. For, for another album down. It's crazy how many... Does anybody know how many albums we've actually fully reacted to? Uh, regardless, though. It always does feel like special when we get through a whole album. 